Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of the Era BB quarter final between Galabranth and Papa Bao. Both with Necro. Papa Bao has a wizard and a babe as his inducements. Galabranth's team is pretty crazy. Loads of skills everywhere. Perfect fleshies, block guard, mighty blow. Perfect wolves, movement nine, strength four, blodge mighty. Lodge tackle pom and the tackle pom white decent decent ghouls. I would have rather gone sidestep on this ghoul, and honestly, I would have rather gone sidestep than the movement on the wolf. Um, I like sidestep, and oh my god, instant rock gets a stun that's huge for like getting forward, isn't it? I, I guess the problem is you only expose the wolf as well. Flip me, flip me. Wolf exposed. Surely there's a dirty player on this Necro team. Nope. There is no Necro. And Papa Bao. I mean, Papa Bao is the little team, isn't he? Oh, and there's the, there's the dirty player on Galabran's team. And he's dead. Dead, dead, dead. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. Well, I might not be playing him, but... I don't... You know, I'm only playing one of them, right? I'm playing one of them, so... Any miss next is is dead as far as I'm concerned. A bunch of tackle on this team. Three tackle. And he's got he's got two tackle. So more tackle on uh, Papa Bow's Necro. <laughs> God. <laughs> How did I know that'd be you, Frosty? <laughs> So yeah, the uh, and this is nice as the more standard carrier, sure hands, blood step, no tackle. I I'm, I'm don't really like this diving tackle, though I did take diving tackle on one of my players. Glorious. No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. Thank you very much, Torek. Speaking of words, we've got a beaver pregnancy. There you go. Thank you very much, one who beaver pregnancy, Torek. Look, Tren, you're welcome to pop on. You're welcome to hop on and not talk about the game if you want. <laughs> you can come on and talk about literally anything except what's happening on the pitch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, things are happening. You can talk about beans. How how beans on toast is the is the best food on earth. Yep. And uh, yeah, growl. That was Lorraine Kelly, wasn't it? On Bow Selector. <laughs> Have you seen my growler? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> It is a classic, yeah. And bloody, what's it called? Uh, scary Spice. <sighs> Ming Ming just kicking off a right pong! <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. How I love that show. <laughs> Pretty great. Well, you know, things are happening. They don't do they? They can't anymore, can they? Half of the things that they used to say on TV, they'd, they self-police to not say anymore. Oh, we've got the lovely line so that you're not really, you know, trying not to give away a frenzy hit. I mean, you've got to make a... Gotta make a. This is uh, the balls here. So, oh god, there's a. This is uh, some would say spicy. It's a removal. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's a weird phenomenon. 
Oh wow, doesn't stand firm, which opens this guy to tag the fleshy as well. Which he probably will. If he'd stood firm, this guy wouldn't have been able to get there. I don't know why, why he didn't stand firm. So here we go. Gets the pal. I was wondering what he was doing here, but of course he was just going to frenzy trap himself. <laughs> and then dodge away. I don't know why I expected anything else. <laughs> Glorious trap. Oh wow, double skulls into a both down. So pretty Snake Eyes! Snake Eyes! Hello Trent. Hello. <laughs> How are you this fine day? Oh, I'm just dandy. I just had some lentil soup, you know? Oh dear. You know, some top quality beans. And <laughs> do you wanna know what I had to go with it? <laughs> this, this is another version of girl dinner. <laughs> oh god, okay, go on. <laughs> So I had my lentil soup, right? And then I cut up half a block of cheese, and then I ate some cheese with my lentil soup. <laughs> brilliant! <laughs> it was really yummy. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. What 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 about what about uh, like you know Heinz baked beans in like you know tomato tomato uh, sauce kind of stuff. Okay, so you mentioned beans on toast. I think I accidentally made that the other day. Because, <laughs> so all my stomach stuff was going on, right? So I've been eating a lot of beans the past couple of weeks. <laughs> and <laughs> I made some uh, homemade refried beans, you know? And then I made my homemade sourdough. So then I was like, oh, I should just put my refried beans on my bread. So I think I made beans on toast. Because is, is that what you guys use for your beans? Um, I, I, I don't know what refried beans are, so like, maybe? <laughs> They're beans, and then you mash them. Okay, no then, no. And add water to them. No, we don't mash um, them. The cheese I had was pepper jack, by the way. Pepper jack American cheese. American cheese. Isn't American cheese shit? I think it's quite good. Oh. <laughs> um, that was a huge... That was a huge Kaz there. Block guard mighty. It says miss next game. I think he is. Why is it not showing me what his injury is? Because he's got minus, minus AV, right? Yeah. I think I think he's just locked miss next game. That, that could be good news for me if Galabranth wins. Reinvented beans on toast. That's pretty good. Mashed beans. Wait, I thought in this tournament the injuries don't carry over, do they, actually? Well, this is Blood Bowl 2. Oh my god, it is! Hey, friends are So this tournament is the Era BB uh, league that I am in. And. <laughs> And Elliot and Hancock. Oh my god, he's cast him! He's only badly hurt. So, and he's regen as well. So yeah, this is this is a different tournament from Blood Bowl 2, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, there's too much going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty it's all pretty hectic, you know, like there's there's all the like I've just played I just played my uh, my quarter final. One. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, now casting this other quarterfinal, and then I'll be playing the winner of this in the semi-final. And then to, on, at the weekend, there's going to be like about 20 games of this, uh, you know, the uh, proper the proper tournament that you thought this was that it isn't. But yeah, if you're interested, Trent, you could you could take part in this. You don't have to be Irish. But um, you did do an impression of an Irish, an Irish lady, didn't you, the other day? Did I? I don't remember. I literally have the memory of a squirrel these days. Oh dear. Yeah, you like I don't know what it was, but it was something about potatoes, and you started. I mean, maybe it wasn't meant to be Irish. <laughs> but I, I, I thought you were trying to be Irish. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Bush. Bush is a good one. Frosty. Yep. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's why, that's why I chuckled when it was bush baked beans. <laughs> but yeah, Heinz, Heinz baked beans are the only acceptable baked beans, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is the thing, see, if people have non-Heinz baked beans, they might think that baked beans is a bit crap. But if you have Heinz baked beans, you should know that it's the correct baked beans. 
I always grew up having a uh, Mmm. Well, I mean, I'll be honest, I haven't had those, so maybe, maybe they are good. But, you know, here in England, here in England, we have Heinz baked beans. <laughs> I've just realised, yes, Chef is back to front here. <laughs> there we yes, go. Chef. Now, you can, now you can read. Yes, Chef! Right, so, Galabranth hasn't really tried to defend at all here. I think he could have done. But he just hasn't bothered, and he's just been banging with his bangy team. And uh, Papa Bow's banged back a little bit, and has, you know, got the ball up there. Happy did. What are the names of these teams again? Undead and Necromantic and Necromantic. Yeah. Mm. Okay. They're both Necromantic. They've got the dogs. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Got the dogs. Hello, Artie Miss Black. Have you finished the uh, round four of the cup yet? This is the uh, this is the era BB. It's not actually the Blood Bowl three cup. <laughs> you know, some I'm guaranteeing some other people may have thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But um, you know, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Ban that man. Look, can't, can't, uh, can't ban myself at least, that's good. Yeah, the, <laughs> no idea what the teams are. <laughs> the funny, the funny thing is, on the, uh, on the cupcast that we did, uh, the feedback was like, it's great, great to hear the, the feedback of a, like a beginner's perspective or something, is what somebody said. Great to have Trent on the cast with a beginner's perspective, such as not knowing what the teams are. So there you go, that's, uh... Yeah, because you guys say all these words, and then if you're not, like, in the community, it's like, what are you guys speaking? Like, this isn't making any sense. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> So it, it is, it, you know, instant, instant uh, success. Instantly no Blood Bowl yeah. 2 is a superior game, yeah. Well, considering I didn't even recognize it, but I, so I was sitting here and I was like, man, these icons look a lot better. Like, this just looks so much different than what I've been playing the past couple of nights. <laughs> Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> 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 Can I say all these words? Is she ragging on English? I think, I think so. <laughs> it does. It's weird. It's like it's like it is blurry, right? Blood Bowl Two is blurry, but it just it just looks cleaner, doesn't it? That's the thing. It looks more more like it looks cleaner somehow, even though it's not as crisp. Which, oh my god, he's done the four plus dodge for the foul. It's really weird that Galabrunt hasn't even tried to defend at all. Like, he didn't lose too many players. I guess he lost a few. Just thought. Ah, it's not really true art. It's not really true. It, it is it is blurry and stuff, but... Um, but you know. the, 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 like, all the cutscenes are better on Blood Bowl 2, right? Like, the injuries and stuff. It, like, it's slower and, like, mm -hmm. the sound's better and stuff. Like, it's just... It's just, like, loads more... Loads more polished, like the animations and and that things. But lots of things are w are bad, if not worse. Right, like the the camera, the camera jerking is is horrible. Like you make a block and stuff. That's yeah. so annoying on Blood Bowl Two. Well, when I've been playing Blood Bowl Three, like yeah, that's why I've only been playing like one game when we've been playing is because my vision just kind of hurts still. Like it, it throws me off. Like the game just is throwing me off still. Yep. Vision hurting after one game of Blood Bowl 3 is pretty standard, yep. <laughs> and then Art likes to act like the game looks wonderful and everyone who hates it is weird. But uh, nearly everybody who plays it complains about how it looks. <laughs> so there you go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you do, Art. Uh, the good thing is, this time it's on my stream, so I can say stuff and you could just type things like an hour later and it's terrible because you just write a little <laughs> shitty sentence and you can't ever win an argument with somebody with a microphone, so... Good! Good! Finally, Art! Fuck you! Downvote! <laughs> <laughs> 
down vote. <laughs> also wrong. <laughs> oh my god, that was the funniest thing. Also wrong. Some dude on Reddit, it's not much of a story, but just some dude on Reddit, like, shouting, also wrong, at me became somehow hilarious. So that was funny. Yeah, an hour. An hour till the Arab B sign up close. You could do it, you could do it, you know, it's like one game a week, but the problem the is. Dodge. <laughs> the problem is, it's like, uh, you know, everyone's. Well, not everyone, most people are in Ireland, so, you know, the, yeah. the, the timing might be bad for you, unlike uh, SFL. Glorious yeah, SFL. I'm probably not going to sign up for anything until I have a little bit more time, because um, I haven't shown you guys Cardboard Mountain in my garage, <laughs> but. I haven't thrown away a single box. I've just been collecting boxes since I moved into my new apartment. And it's all the way up to my ceiling in my garage. Oh my god, are you a hoarder or something? <laughs> no, it's just so f Like, in my apartment complex, it's like a little walk to throw it all out. So I, I just haven't been motivated to do it. <laughs> so I've just been stacking them. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Cardboard man. I'll take them. I'll take them out eventually, but for now they're just chilling in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Well, so this peak weekend kick. it's supposed to be like negative twenty, so I'm definitely not doing it this weekend. Try again next weekend. Oops. Minus twenty is uh is really really cold. Oh no, yeah. you, you're you're American, aren't you? I've literally got no idea what minus twenty is. <laughs> It's cold. Mm. Let me turn it to Celsius. Um, <gasps> negative six degrees Celsius. Okay, yeah, that's 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 pretty cold. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cold. <laughs> yeah. Not as cold as minus twenty though. <laughs> <laughs> the overlap at minus forty. That's weird, isn't it? I knew there was something like that, but I've got literally got no idea about Fahrenheit whatsoever. I think you like said. So <laughs> I remember in school they used to teach us how to do the conversions from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and it's something weird like you times it by two and subtract twelve or something. Yeah. 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 That's honestly how I got bad at math. Is <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> times it by two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, which Oh, race? wait, that was 20 degrees. Minus 20 is negative 28 degrees Celsius. You're right, Art. You're definitely right. Oh, so it's even colder in, in real temperature. Colder. Oh my god, that's really cold. Yeah, wow. negative 28. That's really cold. Fucking hell. Um, which race am I taking in RBB? Uh... I'm gonna take Dark Elves again, just because it's nice and easy, and I, 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 you know, if anybody dies, I can replace them and level them. Double it and add thirty. I prefer double it and give it to the next person. So who wants? Who wants it? Who wants negative forty? Going once. <laughs> Going twice. <laughs> Do we have better? <laughs> Oh wow, he's he's blocked his chances at getting the werewolves at uh, the werewolves at the ghouls. Then frenzy traps himself, gets into a skull. <laughs> <laughs> My oh, God, Galabranth yeah. loved frenzy. He's got a strength for a wolf as well, and he still manages to consistently frenzy trap himself. <laughs> it's, it's honestly a wonder to behold. Um, double it now, thirty. That, uh, that makes something. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, there's a wolf here. Ah. Uh, can you see a problem here, Potato? With your skills um, as an analyst? There is a free to die on the ball? How, what's the movement of... Eight. Right? Eight for wolves. So Eight, yeah, one, it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good hit on the ball, yeah. 
Yeah. A bit of a pickle for Galabranth. Will Papa Bow go both for it? Sides too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, either way, yeah, he could have cleared with the uh Oh and so he gets a surf as well, he gets a surf and two dice on the ball. <laughs> Is going for the surf here first? Um I personally would have I personally would have just blocked uh I would have just blocked with the ghoul and put to just to free the wolf. And then I would have gone in with the wolf probably. Um I would probably so this the problem is I'm I'm used to Blood Bowl three now, right? Blood Bowl three, I'm going for this all day because Blood Bowl three, you go one two three four double GA five with him. The the wolf goes one two three four five six seven eight GA five, double GA five you want, and then the mm -hmm. this wolf goes one two three four five six seven eight GA five, and then it's a two into two, uh, wherever he sidestep to, and you can throw all of your rerolls at it. And just uh, and you know almost guaranteed it's succeeding. Also, he's got a wizard, so he could have fireballed these three, or he could have bolted the ball, bolting the ball, and then coming in with both wolves and a fleshy. Oh yeah, is pretty he didn't amazing. have to use his blitz too. He could have just bolted the ball. Yeah, yeah. And then okay. use the wolf to pick up and pass to the other wolf and run away, like he, something like that. He could have done, yeah. Could have done. This this ghoul movement eight ghoul movement eight ghoul could have come around. So yeah, this was a this was a very risky turn for Galabranth, but uh, Papa Bao has not gone for it at all. So I think that's a mistake because first of all he's one 0 up and he's got a wizard, and second of all, like he's struggling, right? Like Galabranth's team's amazing, even though he's got a a guy KO'd. Like his team's pretty amazing. Ooh. Uh, yeah. did, oh, this guy got served. Yeah, so this guy. So he has served him. So it's it's a tough one, right? It's a tough one because he's he's kind of stopping the penetration a bit. You know, like he's he's being he's being safe, conservative defense, not space cadetting himself by going for the ball and failing. Because like you know, if it failed, like if he uh, if he if the fleshy like failed the second GFI and just fell down, or if he failed the GFI with a wolf and fell down. Then he's just, you know, sacrificed his defense completely. So I guess it is safer to just to make that make that surf and then not go for the ball sack. Maybe that was okay and mm. just hope you get a better chance. But I think I would have gone for the the fireball or the bolt. Like either's pretty good, right? Because he's got really good wolves, uh, really good wolves, really good whites that you could hit with a fireball, and then you might get the yeah. ghoul as well. And now his wolf's removed because he, he didn't go for the ball. So that's a bit... Uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty bad. Yeah. Put himself in a position to get diced, as Art would say. Oh, and there's a, the movement eight. Ghoul gone because he didn't go and pick up the ball and pass it the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is where things start to turn. Yes, yeah, this is... Uh... Oh, well... It's not a frenzy trap if it starts off as a one D. That actually wasn't a frenzy trap. That was a one into a two. So that was uh, that was the right way around for, for Galabrand there. Well, not really. Like two into one's obviously better than one into two, but mm -hmm. it wasn't a frenzy trap. It was that was a frenzy opportunity. That was actually a frenzy opportunity. There you go. Doesn't even kill him. Diced. I wonder if uh, you should have followed with him and then uh, this fleshy could have come in here, which would have been... Oh, I guess he's going to foul the wall. Is taking a one die with block better than just moving players around to make a, make it a two... Oh. Oof. Make it a two die? Uh, ooh, uh, sometimes. So... This is the thing, it has to be a really, 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 really good reason. So, you know, usually not. Usually you just want to make everything a 2D if possible. But yeah. there are times where, like, you know, you need to uh, you need to do the 1D first to then get a hit on the ball or, you know, something like that. So, it, it normally there's players around that stop it being a 2D. You know, like if somebody just randomly does a two a one D when they could have made it a two D, they're almost certainly wrong. 
But there are there are the odd situation. We should have not stood firm there. I think. Really like not standing firm, because then it gets him out in front of the in front of the ghoul. Right, the ghoul wants to run down here. So if he if he'd not stood firm, he would have uh, he would have stopped this guy moving as well. So yeah, I think he should have absolutely. But then I guess he would have freed the ghoul to make a one. But it's only going one in nine dodge anyway. Oh well, it fails it. So brilliant stand firm. <laughs> Good night, Tompo. Fantastic, one, fantastic stand firm. Yeah, the, he hasn't. This is all a bit far away, right? To react, and he's lost his wolf. So I don't think you are a fireball or anything here. And there is overtimes, Torek. There is overtimes, overtime, and it is uh, CRP overtime. So it is first person to score wins, um, rather than the full half of overtime in Blood Bowl 3. Yep. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, though, yeah. <laughs> am, I, uh, am I streaming it in the thing? No, I've been or... watching it on your stream, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll share my screen oh, anyway yeah. even. It went off, I was sharing it earlier for five years and then it went off because I did the, uh, the JFW for a little bit. Just remembered. So you might be able to get it with this ghoul, but um What's the pickup for ghouls? Is it pretty low? Like is there a risk of that ball going up the end zone it, or sideline and just flying across the map? There is. I mean he didn't he couldn't reach to pick it up, but um it is a three plus to pick up the ball. Um Oh well with, there we go. With ghouls, so Chance of a three plus on a six sided dice? Um. <laughs> three plus on a six sided dice, you ask? <laughs> yeah! I don't know if I'll know that off the top of my head, Jim. Uh, 66%? Yeah, yeah, more or less. I think it's closer to seven, personally. It is, yeah. But, you know, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, this is pretty strong for the uh, Papa Bow, isn't he? One nil up, and you know he's he's oh he's one D. Yeah, so there, right. So this one D, the reason he does the one D, first of all, he's he's pushed him to the wrong square. So the reason he does this one D is yeah, okay, he could bring in the he could bring in the ghoul to assist, but he's not because he wants the ghoul to pick up the ball, right? So he absolutely had to do, he absolutely had to make it a 1D. But what he could have done, or he would have had to dodge off with the uh, wolf. But he, if he'd pushed it to here, then uh, then this block would push to there and get him away. Whereas as it is, if, if, this, is, if this block's a push, then he's uh, just, he sticks yeah. it onto the ghoul and then the ghoul's got like dodged loads of times and stuff. So he really should have, uh, he really should have pushed the, pushed the zombie to here. Bit of a mistake from him there. And he does get the push. Clever Jim. So now he's got a blitz of the wolf. Doesn't one in nine. Look a dog. Yeah, okay. He, he could have stood there and like marked both zombies. I quite I prefer marking both zombies. Uh, fails the seventy five percent pickup wow. ball. This is turning into a big old meat pile around the ball. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's it's uh, that, and that favors Papa Bell, right? He's one nil up. Oh my God, he's got mm -hmm. he's got the wizard in hand out of re rolls. This is uh, this is looking very good for Papa Bell. I'm excited because his team's a lot worse than Galabrand's. <laughs> I'm terrified of Galabrand's team. <laughs> a box full of meat. Yep. Yep. 1D power. Oh my god. Huge stun. Oh, sidestep though. Goes onto the ball. Risky. If it's a terrible scatter. Oh my god. Oh. His strength 5 catches Oh my it. god. <laughs> <laughs> and he schools with his wall. Oh my oh. god. Well, oh. that's pretty lucky. That's pretty amazing, yeah. He can surf the... Uh, he can surf the wolf here, right? Oh! Oh, not with those dice. No. 
So it's a little bit tricky. But if he could fill this square, like he could try, he could have just, it's pretty tricky. I guess he's got to block here first and then try put a put a zombie there and then block him before he makes this block and then hope that he sidesteps to there. <laughs> and if he sidesteps to there, mm. then you can then you can blitz this ghoul and chain off the chain off the uh, wolf because chaining off the wolf would be really great. And cuz you've got you already want to hit this anyway to try and get it away from the fleshy. So, it's a bit tricky though. Like it's good having the ball in a strength 5 player. But um Amazing. I mean, Frenzy traps himself. <laughs> he could have surfed this guy, but instead Frenzy trapped himself. <laughs> and I love how both of them just just like Frenzy trapping themselves. <laughs> so he shouldn't try and... Yeah, just hitting there is the best option, but that's just unfortunate right there. Oh, it, oh my god. It wasn't, well, it wasn't lucky, but... <laughs> you know, he's used his reroll for the turn, right? So he gave himself yeah. the chance to be unlucky. Nothing can go wrong if you don't take that hit. So that was a time there to be a little bit safe and not give... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Miss next game. Oh, he regens. Diced. He gets the pow. Ooh, that's a, I don't like that sidestep. I'd sidestep into here so you've got some players to protect it. But I guess next turn he's got a place to protect it here. Yeah, I, is he just trying to keep the ball away from his team? So it, just to make it harder for... Harder to score? Yeah, I guess so. I guess... Because the, there's more like... There's more of Galibrand's team here. And there's mm -hmm. more of Papa Bao's team here. So that's why I, I guess why he sidestepped here to think, well... You know, this fleshy can blitz, this fleshy can stand, and then he's going to be able to get more players around here, and there's like less, uh, there's less Galibrand players here, isn't there? Like one, two, three, four, four here and four here, but then there's like three in a little triangle there, and then these are a bit squashed, aren't they? So maybe the sidestep was correct. It wasn't my instinct to get it closer to my end zone, that's the thing, because it's only like, it's only a couple of turns left, right? He's really run out of players. It's Papa Bao. Oh, wait, yeah, he's trying to... Oh, yeah. No, I see what you're saying now, because that doesn't make sense to get it closer to the end zone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I see exactly what you mean now, yeah. Yeah. So, he has to fire a wizard uh, bolt. No! No, you have to bolt! It's Galibrand's turn 16 next. He's got no rerolls left. Papa Bao has a wizard. Is winning 1-0. <laughs> you have to bolt this guy. You have to bolt him. It's like the law. You have to bolt this guy. You have to bolt him. I think I think you have to bolt that guy. How do the bolts work in Blood Bowl 2 again? Is it like it ends your turn or starts it? If you do it at the start of your turn, it's a 2+. Plus. And uh, mm. 2 plus not around, so he just knocks him down. And then he can uh, dodge away and like try and pick up the ball afterwards. And then he would have been able to pick it up. Said he's one dice blitzing him and doing nothing. Oh no. And th you know that you could have just had the ball now. So yeah, that was. Uh... And if he's got the ball, you know he can just he can just stand on the sideline or whatever. He's done it at the end of the turn. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> How unlucky can you get? That's unfortunate. <laughs> how unlucky can you get? <laughs> yeah, you should know how wizards work. <laughs> trying to I know, I remember, I remember bolting my own. I do remember that. For sure. I, just don't, I didn't remember if they ended your turn or not. Yeah, they, they do it. So if it's not the first thing you do, it ends your turn. So you can you can start the turn with a, with a bolt or a fireball. God, you know what? You know, you, you can tell that Dimmy's improved at Blood Bowl a lot just by not drinking. Because I remember one one stream he had where he was he was out of it, like he was out of his mind. He was completely completely pissed, and he just uh, he went he, like there was a you know there was like there was like five players or something, and he just put his fireball on and then missed. <laughs> <laughs> he just fully missed his fireball. <laughs> Amazing. 
That was that. I, I don't even clip it. That was before I I clipped things. I also saw an amazing one where where Rick just like oh Rick Rick like f f fireballed his own player so that he could uh, he could score, but he could have just like dodged or something. He could have just two plus dodged, but instead he fireballed his own player to try and get him out of the way. That's <laughs> <was> amazing. <laughs> In case there is a one, he's going for the one turn a little bit here. Movement eight, but no sidestep, so the the wolf would have been a better shout. And he dubs skulls. Oh my god! And both teams were down out of re rolls, and uh, Galabranth has got an extra one off the kickoff. He's had some horrible dice, Papa Bow. I he, I best guess he feels a bit hard done by from the dice. I mean, they probably both do. That's that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Did they get all the knock, knocked out players back too? It, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, nobody yeah. out for Papa Bao. And uh, nobody out except for the two Kaz for Galabranth. Yeah. Galabranth has won the toss though. So if he scores, it's all over. And he does have a reroll. And... An unstoppable movement nine, <laughs> strength four wolf. <laughs> that it looks like he's not going to carry with, but you know he's got he's got two hands for a safe pickup, so I I don't hate it, but uh, he should definitely be fielding his tackle zombie rather than his rookie zombie. Oh yeah, for sure. Taking lessons from Spork Bearer there. <laughs> That's a hilarious joke. Dimmy Chairfall was a classic Blood Bowl moment, yeah. That's one of the best. One of the best Blood Bowl Twitch moments of all time was Dimmy's, <laughs> Dimmy's chair. Oh, man. What's the odds again of, like, if you win the coin toss, you're basically more likely to win, right? Just since you're on offense? Yes. So it, it's first touchdown wins in Blood Bowl 2. So, okay. so like you just toss a coin, and then uh, whoever wins the coin toss starts with the ball. And if it ends, like if there's no score in eight turns each, it's a roll off. Uh, so like you know, you both roll a d6. Whoever rolls higher mm -hmm. wins, and you add your re rolls. So at the moment, Galabranth has the advantage, the equity, as people call it, the kick equity, the equity. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So the fact he's got one re roll, but also it's going to just help him, like you know. Like get to the, uh, you know, get, get the win or get to the end of the overtime. Um, mm -hmm. Hate this move that the wrestler could have ta tagged him for the assist. But this is a, uh, you know, he split his team here, right? Uh, Galabranth, uh, Papa Bell can get a bunch of people through. Okay, that's okay. Tagging him is okay. I don't like this. I think this wolf should have come in behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like you've got to go for it in these in these situations. Like if you just try and play safe, you're gonna uh, get shit on. You should also should have taken a power there. That's really greedy. Like to hopefully put him in a better spot. This is uh, not the best overtime. He could have had. He could have had like a full screen here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, priority focus on the ball, for sure. Yeah, yeah, because it's 1-1, it's one, one, and if he scores, you lose. So, like, it, 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 it's understandable to, like, try and play safe and, you know, just doing that. But he's, he's got to be uh, he's got to be proactive because, you know, it's just so easy to lose from this point forward. Does he lose the wizard in overtime? He, he used it. He used it at the end of his turn on turn fifteen, oh, and, the, and then the ball went to the strength four wolf. <laughs> Caught it. It was like the worst possible step. <laughs> yeah, diced comedy mega. But he should have used it at the start of the turn. Yeah. Really. And if he'd used it at the start of the turn, he would have he would have hit the strength four wolf and got the ball off it. So. Yeah, like he's setting up a surf here. He set up a surf with like the the push, and but it's like you know you don't want your wolf surfing somebody on and sticking us off on the sideline when 
you're about to lose, basically. Like, he's not about to lose. Maybe it's a slight exaggeration. Like, it's not that desperate for him, but the fact that they can just make a break and score and, and you lose is really, really bad. Also, he's, like, getting more hits. Do you know what I mean? Like, if he just taken the first pow when he blitz yeah. that guy, now, now he's rolled three block, three two-dice blocks, each one with a 1 in 36 chance of failure. So, you know, he's had about a 1 in 12 chance of failing that all those blocks. Like, it's really... Oh, he didn't blitz. Oh, he's got sidestep. Okay. He's got sidestep. Disregard. Side, sidestep is is amazing for wolves, by the way. So they can just li leave themselves on the sideline like that. I absolutely love sidestep on wolves. I, I kind of hate that uh, that Galabranth hasn't taken sidestep on either wolf. But, uh, That's this also one. in Blood Bowl 3, right? Sidestep? It is, yep. Yep. Great skill. Yeah. Great skill for... People who get it on normals, it's it's not a good double, but it's it's a great it's a great like uh, skill if you get it normally. Mm -hmm. Didn't frenzy trap himself? Amazing. Did dodge away? Oh shit! Are we going for the break this turn? Maybe. That was kind of spicy. That was pretty no spicy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there are no wolves. Yeah, there's, there's undead, but there's not necromantic yet. But that there's their files are in the game, so they're, 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 there's a good chance of necro being like the next team. There's well, maybe it's not the next team because undead just came out. So like maybe it's wood elves next, and then necro coming soon. Yep, yeah. I think Christmas elves will be next. Because we've just had the uh, we've just had the Halloween undead team in, in December, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think we'll get the March Christmas elves. So yeah, he's in range now with this uh, this fella. The wolf, right? Yeah. Or no, got ghoul. My bad. Yeah, the ghoul's got the ball, but like all three are in range, so. Yeah. Even if you knock down the ghoul, it's, you're in a bit of a pickle here. A bit of a pickle? Mmm. Tea and crumpets. Tea and crumpets. Oh, oh god, he's uphilling. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I don't think you can uphill. I think, like, this this ghoul should have, like, three plus, four plus rather than a. Uh, an uphill. Yeah, that just lost him the game, right? Yeah, I mean, it was, he was in a tough spot, but yep, he does. He gets it in, bangs it in, does wow. Galabranth. And that's it, GG. It's game over. First goal wins. And yeah, pa Papa Bow, man, if he'd if he just not blocked after it with the ball car after his reroll was gone, like he's strength five, it's so hard for Galbraith to get down that flesh golem. If he'd just played a little bit safer once he got that, and you know if he'd used his wizard earlier, um, either on an earlier turn to get more pressure or or uh, you know something very very mm. close for Papa Bow. Uh, but yeah, Galbraith's team is just too good and. Uh, Yep, congratulations Galabranth. So he gets he gets through to the semi-final versus me, as I kind of predicted, because his team's insane. <laughs> but great news that he's got a miss next game uh, Flesh Golem, so at least I've only got to beat one Fleshy. So that's good. Um, yeah, exactly, yeah. But like Bolt earlier, right? He had to use his wizard earlier, either early in the turn or earlier in the drive. Um, either way, he had to use it earlier so there you go that was a nice little game wasn't it uh thank you for joining me part way through tren yeah of course i got off work early today so it worked out glorious and uh thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic stay fantastic <laughs>